Hey, what's going on guys? So, so the person we're gonna be talking about today, I'm positive you've seen him somewhere. I mean, this guy probably went viral for the dumbest take in the history of dumbest takes. Just listening to this person talk, I feel like my brain cells are diminishing. It feels like my brain is slowly trying to crawl down my asshole and just trying to escape my body. That's how bad some of these TikToks are now. Tired from what? Content creation is harder than your nine to five. You really don't know how much hard work goes into creating multiple videos a day. Being constantly creative with new video ideas, trying to make footage look good, getting new shots, taking many many takes over and over, it can get to be a lot. So yeah, I'm tired. Now some of the things this person says, you can kind of agree with when it comes to the mental toll. And then you quickly realize that this person's definition of content creation is quite not what you think it could be. I mean, this guy's comparing a nine to five job to his uh, daily hard life of content creation. Let's take a look at how consistent this person is when it comes to posting literally TikToks, 60 second videos or less. So the last video he posted, it was on the 12th. Keep in mind, as I'm recording this video, it's the 26th, and uh, these are 60 second videos you also got to keep in mind. For that, he posted on the 7th, so a five day period between a 60 second video. And then after that, his next video was, was nearly a month before. Next to that was another near month before. So he's posting about a TikTok every three and a half weeks, and this guy sits up there and says content creation is harder than a nine to five job. Now, I love the idea and I love the enthusiasm, but you really got to back it up i mean if you're really gonna sit up there and say something that ridiculous for millions of people to see at least be daily or post every other day this guy posts less than me and he makes 60 second videos i mean if you're gonna talk shit you better be able to back it up that's like me teaching you guys how to fight when i am a 0 and 13 when it comes to my fighting record it's like me teaching you how to fight while there's a video of me online getting my ass whooped by a 12 year old that has autism who also happens to have one leg and one arm you cannot sit up there and say stupid shit if you can't back it up but you know, maybe his daily life is hard. Let's take a look at, at his daily routine. Um, He posted a vlog, or you, if you want to call it a vlog. I don't know what, what this is even considered. Typical day in the life of a streamer. I woke up at 5 today, brushed my teeth and took a shower. Then I walked to my gas station for some drinks. Walking in the morning is a really great way to clear my mind, so I try to do it as much as I can. I edited two videos waiting for my sheets to wash and dry, and then I made my bed. After organizing, I had a three hour stream where I averaged 90 viewers and peaked at about 150. Wasn't feeling the best today, so I went to sleep. Right, so this guy, this warrior, this barbarian's hard life is waiting for his sheets, going to the gas station, and then making two TikToks, which apparently he doesn't even post because his posting schedule is almost three weeks apart. So so how in the world did you make two videos in one day and on top of that didn't even post? I mean, you guys gotta remember, this is a day in a life. You're supposed to make your life seem hard. And if this is as hard as he can make his life seem, he playing video games for three hours and streaming, you can't call streaming a job unless you're actually living off of it. And keep in mind, this is the same guy that's saying his life is harder than a regular 9 to 5 guy's life. But maybe that was just one of those day in a life where he's just showing a light day, right? That's what we're all probably thinking. Let's take a look at another day in a life as a content creator. Man, if you're enjoying the video so far, subscribe to the channel and leave a like. You might as well. It's right there. And if you want to talk to me, go shoot me a DM on Instagram. I respond to practically every message on there. Day in the life of a full-time content creator. After my normal morning routine, I meet up with my friend and we go to the store. I've been out of Oreo cookies for a few days now, but sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles. Damn, you got the whole squad laughing. I mean, I, I just know the people watching right now are rolling over on their stomach on the ground because they just can't they just can't stop laughing at that joke. Once we got done there, we got some lunch. A burger is always a go-to since it's quick and it keeps you on the move. After lunch, we found a movie to go see since the theater was pretty close, but man, was that movie bad. It was getting pretty late and I was already pretty tired, so I got home and went to sleep. You see what I'm saying? What did he do in his entire day besides hang out with his friend and get food? Now, something else intrigued me during this uh, research phase of this video, and it's actually his friend who also does these day in the life of a content creator videos. Let's take a look at what he's cooking up. Day in the life of a 19 year old high school dropout that just happened to be a full time streamer. You might not believe me, but I shower every day and have a strict morning routine. I make sure to follow this so I can be more productive throughout my day. But after finishing that, 
that up, I got straight to the grind checking emails and responding to messages. I try to do this every morning so I don't forget later on, but my roomie said he wanted to go shopping, so we headed out and ended up going to this Asian supermarket. I picked up some matcha powder because I've been wanting this stuff, and you know we had to stop by Happy Lemon because they serve some of the best baba. I always go with the Okinawa fresh milk. When I got home, I ate some donuts and chilled out for a bit, watching a few streams. But it was time to work on some content, so I spent a few hours filming a couple of TikToks. I also had to work on some new material, so I sat in my living room and scripted a few videos as well. And I know I still have to get a couch, I'm working on it. By now, I thought it would be a good time to stream, so I hopped on my PC and got on Val. I wanted to play with my roomie, but he fell asleep, so I tried my best to keep it quiet while I was playing with myself. And after a pretty eventful day, I got tired and went to bed. Alright, so a little better than his uh, friend, I, I would say, you know? Uh, he spent half of the day slacking off, and then the other half actually doing work. Or, so we think, right? He says he spent two hours making videos. Let's take a look at this man's consistency. So, just a few clicks, I was able to go to his YouTube channel. Let's take a look at this consistency. The last video he posted was two months ago. The video before that was three months ago. Two videos in one month seems like a big milestone for him. And then, four months, posted three videos in that other month. And then before that, he quite literally abandoned his channel for four months. That is how hard a life of a small content creator is. Like, I understand this shit is hard, uh, mentally speaking and uh, brainstorming wise and all that stuff. You can't compare a nine to five job to content creation, especially when you're not doing jack shit. If I'm getting more work done than you, then there's a problem because I'm juggling around about four different things at once. So please, let's not say that, especially when you can't back it up. Like, I'm positive the guys up top or the people that are actually living off of this shit I promise you that shit is probably harder than a nine-to-five job But at the end of the day they are doing what they love and that's got to count for something and that's got to take some stress out But that's gonna be it for today If you want to watch the most delusional person that I've quite literally ever seen I'll put that video up right here And if you want to see a video that will probably make you mad put that video up right here